Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to use wire dirty directive in Laravel live wire. So let's get started with an example. So you can see here. So I already created product create form with the name, price and details. So I created a live wire component. So let me go here. You can see that played file and this is the component class over here. Okay. When I submit, then it goes to the submit method and there is simply info name, price and detail. Okay. So how we will use the dirty directive. So if I go here and here I will be add div and I will say wire dirty. Okay. And here I will say unsaved data. Okay. Unsaved input I will say and dot 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 saved it. Okay. And now what ha happens? So if I refresh it and if I change anything, then it, it show you like the component has updated, but it's not like synchronize with the input okay so if i go and if i hit enter you can see that unsaved input that means if i click on submit then it goes over here into the class function so that means the data is synchronized with the name okay so if i go change it and click on submit you can see that it's disappear so that means when you change anything on your input or any text area or checkbox then that means that state is dirty okay so now you understand so let me show you with the class as well so let me go here and i will go and i will see wire dirty dot class okay and i will simply say is invalid okay save it okay now what i will do refresh it okay and i will add something you can see that it's added the class that means you write the name of the product for example if you write the gold that means when you add but it's not still save so if i click on save you can see that it's disappear so what i will do the next i will same thing i will do fire dirty dot class dot remove when it's remove that means when data sent to the class at that time i will say is valid class over there okay and simply save it okay now what i will do refresh and here i will say gold then you can see that here it's red but if i click on send you can see that it's become green because when we send data to the server at that time it's become green because that's saved to the database okay same thing i will do for rest of all so save it paste it over here and same thing i will paste for the text area as well save it okay and refresh i will add that's gold i will say 500 and you can see that test still not saved data when i click on it you can see that all become green because we all the data sent to the server and synchronize with the input and that saved to the database as well so i hope guys you understand how we how easily we can manage the dirty directive and you can use, use it with your form okay if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much guys